Good afternoon, guys. Jordan from ThisWeekInLinux.com, and I just wanted to share with you a little bit of interesting news from Microsoft and Skype. Late last night, I was checking my news feeds, and I saw a rumor that Microsoft was planning to bid to buy Skype. This morning, it apparently became official. Microsoft has purchased Skype for $8.5 billion. A part of me is curious how that went down. If Bill Gates just went into the Silver Lake offices and said, we want Skype, here's a blank check, take all the money you want. But anyway, you're probably asking yourself, what does this have to do with Linux? Why do I care? Well, if you're a Skype user on Android or Linux, you should probably be concerned at this point. I don't know to what degree, though. According to the press release from the Microsoft site, they say they're going to continue to explore non-Microsoft versions of Skype. Whether that means they're going to continue developing the Android and Linux versions remains to be seen. We can keep our fingers crossed. I do have to say, with the limited amount of versions that have been made available for Skype, it would be nice to see some company grab it and make it on par with all the rest of the versions. However, I don't quite see Microsoft making that happen specifically for Linux. Even though Microsoft has done a lot of great things for open source in the past, developing software specifically for Linux has never been one of them. But I was curious to get your take on this story. Do you think this is actually going to be a problem for Linux users? Do you think we're going to get cut out of the loop? If so, what service would you decide to move to? Google Voice and Video has been out for a while now and does seem like a viable option. Everybody and their mother has a Gmail account at this point. Or would you move to something else entirely, something brand new, something different? Let me know your opinions, your thoughts in the comment section below. But that's all for this video. Stay tuned, I will be doing some more coverage tonight, tomorrow, the rest of the week over the Google I.O. event that's going on in San Francisco this week. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.